and welcome back to my channel or welcome to new members of our community. My name is Yasa. I'm a violinist. I'm a musician. And um, well, to summarize my story, I moved from St. Petersburg, Russia to United States, Florida almost 10 years ago, all by myself. And since I'm stuck here all by myself in uh, this pandemic, I would like to um, share with you my thoughts, my feelings, my insights, and seek some advice and seek um, some uh, help from you guys. So I started this uh, new playlist just for fun because I'm no expert at all in the matter. <laughs> and I like to specify this uh, as, as much as I can so there's no complaints afterwards if your marriage ended up in divorce following my advice. Oh well, it's on you, okay? <laughs> um, I started a playlist called Dating in America because I really think that dating in America is really different from uh, dating in Russia and what uh, I came to know as um, our cultural experience in, in Russia. So today um, I want to say, uh, say a disclaimer that uh, it is absurd to assume that one knows answers to all the questions and uh, it's so it's such a freeing experience to admit to the things that you don't know so i would like to ask your help and your opinion in, in today's episode on what things can be changed in in an individual right <laughs> and what things cannot be changed for example we always say that you know don't uh, think that you can change a man well, I'm a girl, so I'm talking about men, but <laughs> for, for, for the other party, of course, it's going to be uh, opposite. Or same sex, you know, depends on your preferences. So, um, we always say there is no chance in, in, in hell that you're going to change someone, right? Which I disagree with. I really think that people do change with time, going through traumatic experiences specifically, right? Traumas and... Uh, all kind of difficulties and challenges in life really change people hopefully for the best I truly believe that suffering is the best thing that can happen to you <laughs> suffering that you can take all right I don't wish I don't wish fatal sicknesses on anyone of course but um, <laughs> bearable amount of suffering is the best thing that can happen to you because uh, it really makes uh, you much more compassionate and um, attuned to sufferings of the world around you, hence um, it makes the world a better place because you're going to be kinder and nicer to people around you and, and the environment around you. So circling back to my initial topic, I do feel that people change with time. So talking about relationships specifically, do you believe that one will change uh, with time? So for example, if you're really adjusting to each other, do you think it's possible to really find the balance and change some of your habits, some of your characteristic traits in years to come? So let's say probably it's not realistic to believe that someone will change in a month or so, but is it realistic to expect with in two years, in a year or two years, a person might change some of his views, some of his behaviors? Do you think that's a realistic expectation or um, to make my questions more precise, what exactly do you think can be changed and what cannot be changed uh, at any point of time in, in a person's character? I understand that uh, one cannot change by the will of a spouse, right? We not we cannot make a person change. The change happens in the in the individual itself. So probably going through a uh, Break up. So, for example, if you are leaving that person, do you think that could be the traumatic experience enough for them to realize something and for them to feel the need to change something in this, themselves? Or do you think it's a selfish way of thinking and um, it's not going to bring good to anyone? If you decided to leave, you leave them without expecting them to change. Uh, you just leave them and uh, because you made that choice. And if the change in the person happens afterwards, that's already a different story. You should not rely or, or expect that to happen. 
Well, what are the things that can be changed? For example, can a person start dressing up nicer? I was talking to a friend the other day about that. That's why I'm bringing it up. And he was saying, no, the person should not even change the way of dressing for the other person. But what if, um, you know, other person inspires you to change the way you dress? What if you want to look uh, more presentable for them? Is it such a bad thing? Is it really changing yourself upside down? Or is it something that is a good thing? Because we do strive to be our better self for the other person when we like someone, don't we? I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think we're changing ourselves for the other person and pretending to be someone we are not. We're actually working on ourselves and we're actually making ourselves a better human being. I think that's the whole point of being in the relationships. Uh, with anyone, not even just love relationships, but you know, meaningful relationships in life. Uh, children are trying to be their better selves for, I guess, their parents, right? Parents trying to be their better selves for their kids. Uh, friends are really putting their best foot forward for their friends as well, uh, re regarding their friends, right? I think it's a good way of looking at it. We are really bringing our best in ourselves, for example, if a person is really um, knowledgeable and we want to be, we want to communicate with them on the same level, we want to read now, we want to explore that new world that we haven't explored before. We, uh, I, and I think it's good, education is always good. So, of course, I'm not saying that you should change yourself in a way that, for example, if you don't like snakes and the guy that you're in love or having crush on uh, is a snakes person I don't think you should say that oh yes I'm a I'm a huge reptile fan and I have a big uh, fascination for them and I, I love going to all the rep, um, zoos and spending time in reptile exhibits I mean that is something that is not true so I'm not saying to lie, <laughs> right? But if a person is an animal lover and you, uh, since your childhood and due to certain ways of your upbringing, you weren't exposed to animals that much, but maybe you can express an interest and just spend time in the zoo or spend time in the petting zoo or spend time with animals at your friend's house, for example, right? I mean, why not? trying it because animals are great teachers they can teach you a lot and it's uh, communicating with nature without feeling the weight of the world communicating with the dog it's the same as uh, you know she she is just a, such a, a pure pure substance that doesn't have all the judgments of the society and the pressure of being excellent at work and uh, uh, having achieved certain goals it's just a happy uh, or sad or annoyed uh, being but it's sincere and pure and simple and it's a joy to spend time with um, uh, beings like that right that's why we like spending time with children with animals with nature where there's no judgment of the society and no uh, heavy lifting of thinking and um, acting is involved right it's just a joy just simple it's it's a rest for our minds and souls so um i'm not saying you have to lie definitely your preferences are your preferences and you have to be uh, my favorite uh, english philosopher um who's living now hi elaine i love you <laughs> elaine de Botton. i'm sorry if i'm saying his name wrong uh is saying that it's good to right from the beginning states state your truths your beliefs so there is no misconception and we don't mislead each other for another month and another year and things like that at the same time i truly believe that educating yourself and striving to be the best is not the same as lying and changing yourself for the other person and being someone you're not no you growing and you developing yourself to something um, maybe more open-minded 
more educated, right on your horizons, and I think it's a good thing. So you tell me, what would you change for, for example, we're talking about love relationships, right? So what would you change for the other person, for, for the one that you like? Oh, love, depending, right, on the stage of the relationships. What would you not change under any circumstances? Why do you think that? And uh, do you think it's reasonable to expect someone to try to be a better self for the other person? And do you think it's a reasonable expectation that you probably uh, hope to, to find the balance uh, in, in years to come? So for example, if one really hates, uh, I don't know, putting the seat, uh, toilet seat up or down, right? Is it reasonable expectation to kind of expect that in a year or two, that person will adjust and change that habit? It's clearly an, a, an example from, uh, you know, a, <laughs> another TV show and it comes up in our lives so often. But it could go to anything, any, any, any habit in life that seems to be bothersome. Is it reasonable to expe expect that to change or, or not? What do you think? I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm uh, discovering this uh, as, as I go with you. All right. Okay. So please like and subscribe because I had a great time with you guys. I don't know about you. I'm having just a blast. Have a great day and see you again soon. Пока!